Hey, this is Isara with UX in Motion, and in this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to make a cool Instagram 3D cube rotation thing in After Effects. Okay, so let's check this out. So I was on my phone the other day and I was like going through Instagram with the stories and there's this cool cube 3D rotation. A lot of people don't realize how insanely easy it is to do something like this in After Effects. So I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So let's check this out here. So you can see this reference that I captured has this 3D cube, right? And this is what you get by swiping left and right. And you can see it's just really, really cool. You know, it's just going left, right. And essentially what this is, is just a couple layers and there's one off in space here and you just make a cube and then you just kind of rotate through it. And so that's what we're gonna do. Look at that awesome arrow. We're just gonna create that right now. So let's jump over into After Effects and check this out. So here's what the project file looks like here. And you can see it's really simple, it's just a couple keyframes. Uh, I can embiggen in this. And uh, it's just really, really simple. Easy to make. I'm using some photos of my cat Atlas. He's a Norwegian forest cat. They're very large and luxurious creatures. Uh, they're awesome. And uh, don't forget you can download these and follow along. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna um, import my file. Again, we'll start from scratch. Um, and it's a PSD, it could come in from anything, it could come in from Sketch, it could come in from Figma. Um, not a problem at all. Uh, it could be UI, in this case I'm just using a uh, couple photos, but it could very easily be you know, your project that, that you're working on. You're gonna bring it in as composition retain layer sizes. And uh, that was a little quick, so I went to File, Import, File. Found my file, uh, and we wanna bring in as composition retain layer sizes, okay. Composition retain layer sizes. Okay, great. So I'm just gonna double click that here. So we have a blank uh, composition. Yours is probably gonna look like this. So it's just very simple starting from scratch. Um, now, conceptually what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these into 3D layers. Uh, we're gonna offset them. Um, and then we're gonna create what's called a null, which is a blank layer with an anchor point that we're gonna uh, position off in space so we can rotate it as a group. And then we're gonna add a cool light on top of it to give you that nice dimensional shading during the uh, transitions. Really, really simple, uh, but let's go through it. So um, we take our layers here and I can select both those layers. I can just, uh, click and drag. And if you see this little cube here, this is just the 3D layer option switch. So I turn that on. And we know that conceptually this top layer here, we want to actually scoot it over and rotate it. Um, you'll see that if I just rotate it here, I hit R on the keyboard to bring up rotation. We're gonna be playing with the Y axis. So we're just playing with that. This is only a two keyframe uh, like animation here. If I do this, you're gonna get some weird uh, clipping. And yes, there's a lot of different ways we could rotate it and then move it or move it and then rotate it. But let's just think ahead here. First thing I'm gonna do is hit Y on the keyboard, which brings up the anchor point tool. And I'm just gonna click that and drag it to the corner here so that it snaps. Cause I'm gonna to wanna to rotate it um, at that point. So the card just rotates like this. Um, so I have that on the corner the snapping tool, uh, the snapping option is here. Now uh, with snapping on, I can just click and drag and bring this over. And it's just gonna snap here. Now it's off the canvas, we can't see it. Um, but if I click and drag in Y rotation, I can actually see that it's gonna be folding it backward at that hinge right there. There's a lot of different ways to rotate and position things in After Effects. I'm just showing you the most efficient way. Uh, if you wanna do it in a less efficient way, you're welcome to do so. Um, okay, so we have these layers here, but we can't really see what's going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an, a, a new view. So in, in this area here where it says one view, you can click that, drop down to two views horizontal, what this does is allows you to view in multiple uh, camera angles, essentially. Now what I'm gonna do, and what's cool here is you can just, uh, where it says top, uh, so if, if you click in each one, you'll, you'll see this blue uh, triangle, that's what just kind of is the, uh, tells you which one you're, um, uh, is active. Um, so if I click custom view, I can see that I actually have a cool shape here, and if I hit C, on the keyboard, I can just pan around. I'm not actually moving my layers at this point. I'm just panning around this view. So I'm not changing anything. I just wanna show you that we've, we've built something in like three clicks, which is awesome. Okay, so now we wanna rotate it. Now the interesting thing is, and I'll just go back here to uh, one view for a second. 
is if I was just gonna parent this layer here to this one, and parenting is just like grouping in uh, like After Effects, I'm just choosing a uh, like arbitrary layer. If I was to rotate this now, the whole thing wouldn't rotate in place. That's because the anchor point is on this layer. We actually need the anchor point in the middle of the cube. We don't have a cube with four sides. We kind of have a two-sided cube, but we need that anchor point to be in the middle of that volume. Um, the easiest way to do that is to just make a new null layer and parent to that. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna go up to File, New. Um, uh, it's funny, for these, I always do it from the keyboard. Uh, uh, shortcuts, F layer new, no object, awesome. And we're gonna make that 3D also. We're gonna click that. And now we can see here, um, if I go back to my, uh, where it says custom view, and go top, I can see where it's at. And I just want it to be positioned here. So if I hit P on the keyboard, I can see my position properties. What I, and because I know, if, if I hit Command K, I bring up my uh, composition, I know it says 1080 by 1920. So I'm like, all right, Let's just bring this up here, which is half of uh, 1080. So we'll call that 540, you can just type that in. And now that's directly in the middle of the volume. It's 540, 540, because essentially what we want is to rotate it once and have it land perfectly square. If it's a tiny bit off, it's not gonna work. It's gonna look really, really ghetto. So you don't want that. So we have that there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna parent these two layers to the null object here. So I've got this null here. Now if I hit R on the keyboard and I go to my Y axis, I can see that it's gonna rotate this cube like an awesome way. All right, so now let's animate. We've got it set up. So the first step was just like setting everything up so we could animate it. Now we're gonna uh, like animate it. So I'm just gonna go in 30 frames here, just a half second. I'm gonna drop a, a Y rotation keyframe. I'm gonna jump over 30 frames um, and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees, I can just type in 90 right here. I don't have to click and drag. And so now I'm just zooming in plus and minus on the keyboard. I can see that if I preview it, I'm like, hell yeah, I just made a 3D cube. Still looks a little wonky. So we're gonna ease the curves, toss on a light, and then we'll call it good. So I'm gonna select these keyframes here. I'm gonna control click and go keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then I'm gonna hit this graph thing here. And I, if this is your first time, I know we covered a bunch of stuff. Uh, but don't freak out. Um, I've got some free resources on my site. Just go to uxemotion.com. I got a whole bunch of blog posts and stuff. But here's the graph. I'm just gonna click this. I'm gonna drag the handle out pretty aggressively. I'm gonna tuck this in. Now, I don't have a lot of time to talk about it here, but for UI animation, you want to start quick and give it a nice ease on the back end. Uh, and you want it to be crisp. So this is half a second, and I don't have time to get into motion standards right now. But essentially for a big transition like this, you don't want it to be longer than half a second. In fact, you probably want it to be around a third of a second, but this is looking really good. All right, look at that. It's nice, smooth and clean, lands good. Now let's add a light here and lights are their own rabbit hole. This is gonna be really simple though. This is, there's one light that looks awesome every, every time for projects like this. This is a parallel light. So under layer new light and hit that, Make sure it says parallel light, don't mess with anything. Hit okay, it throws a light on the top, but check this out. Now when it rotates, you get that nice look right there where it's kind of like, uh, kind of dark and you can bring it back. And so that's it, that's it. We just crushed it. I know that was really quick, but look at how awesome that is. You can just, in a couple clicks, you can set up a 3D project with your UI layers, you can build a cool interaction. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post stuff like this, free resources, tips, just for UI, uh, like animation stuff, something I obsess about. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well during the pandemic and uh, drop me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions. See ya.